Xbox spinning on that 42 screen And I hold my title higher than my date for the Aw oh, snap, what up and welcome back everybody My name is Belief I Need and I'll be doing the most for my YouTube I also be stunting on my Instagram so make sure you subscribe and follow In this video we're playing Dying Light And I am going to introduce to you my favorite weapon in the entire game It's better than guns, mush your face Anyway, <laughs> um, so what you gotta do is get to this uh, point of the map <clears throat> The uh, highest safe point, uh, the, the northern most safe point in the middle of the map you want to get there find this building that's just to the east of the uh that safe point it's a you know big c it's a big you know c it's a big bit you see what you see where i am on the map anyway you can't get to the top of this building until you get your grapple so make sure you get your survival skill points up once you get that grapple then you can traverse the map so easily get to the top of this building and you're gonna find this blue box at the top behind all these containers so it's really hidden this is an easter egg is the definition of an easter egg so once you find this box you got to kick it 75 times are you serious? I'm not going to go into the explanation on why you got to do all this stuff. But this is the Dying Light Easter Egg to get the Korak Machete. Once you pop it open, bam, you got some blueprints there. And you can break the, uh, excuse me, build the Korak Machete. Now all you need is three alcohols. And that's like super easy. You could always find those in the fridge. Now let me tell you why this is my favorite. Number one, it is a one-handed weapon. So you could just slash, 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 slash. You could super slash. It's really dope. Um, aside from the EXP caliber that we found the other day, that one's two-handed. So it's, it's kind of slower. Now the more important thing about about this weapon is that it has four upgrade slots that you can see here the durability I mean excuse me uh, the damage is crazy but more importantly once it's broken once the weapon is uh, you know you used all the durability it doesn't break it still slashes and it still kills uh, it's not a one hit kill once it's broken but dude it still kills like you don't ever have to repair this in my opinion but yeah I want to repair it anyway I hope this video helped like this video hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in a few with another one peace Xbox, my song got video on deck. Sound check, sounds good. With a YouTube check, check. YouTube everything, YouTube everything. Facebook famous, I'm the Twitter king, Twitter king.